Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about uh, cleaning your SCBA after use at a job. Because I've uh, noticed that maybe they're not as clean as they once were. Obviously people are getting the message, so we're just trying to refresh. So I'll give you guys all a copy of the uh, check sheet. We're just going to talk through what we have to do every week or whenever we use our BAs. Um, so the first thing we do when we come back after a job or if it's been used in anything, we will clean the BA set, which is this process here, which we're going to go through in detail. And we'll fit a new cylinder, so change this over if it's below um, a 240 bar. Yeah, sorry. And then um, we'll carry out a functional check after all that's done. So all we're going to go through today is the DRSLRD process. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we'll uh, disconnect the mask, which is actually the first one. So if we disconnect, step one. So get your BA and disconnect. So you'll have your mask separate. Now what you're going to do after that is you'll rinse the inside. Don't scrub the inside of the mask because you actually ruin the inner lens on these. Which is step two. So you rinse the mask, clean it, make sure all the straps are pulled out, etc. Make sure it's all good, all everything's still connected. And um, we don't actually open this anymore to clean the uh, insulation valve. We just leave it shut and go as is. Um, who knows what on the threes? Spray. Spray liberally. Now before we spray with the VA disinfectant, we've got to check to make sure it's in that, which hopefully all ours are yet. And that's actually on the back. Oh yes, yeah. And the back. Make sure it's in that when you spray. So spray all inside you know. I'll give you a demo. Spray, 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 spray inside. Once again, don't pop that open because apparently they've had instances of the one way about falling out, so spray all around. And then the next step is to leave the mask for how long? Do you want to know? Ten minutes. For ten minutes. And that lets the disinfectant work. And that's the key part there. With ten minutes leaving it. Mm. Then once we've left it for 10 minutes, we'll uh, go back. All right, carrying on from there. Sorry about that, guys. A bit of a camera difficulty. Um, we go to the next step after it's been left for 10 minutes. We'll then rinse, which is another rinse. This one's more thorough because it's the final rinse before we leave it to dry, which is the last step. Now. We've the um, important part with this, which has changed a little bit um, in the last few years, is now the inside lenses of the masks have an uh, anti-fog layer, which if you rub it on the inside, ruins that layer completely if it's wet. So we've been told we are now dry the inside of the rubber seals, try not to touch the mask, and uh, leave them to air dry. So that's about all we have to do. So. We dry, but don't touch the lens on the inside. And we don't use any towel, we try to use a cloth so it doesn't ruin it on the outside as well. Now, if there's any set faults or any injuries during the job, you will quarantine the SCBA, contact logistics equipment at Chalora, and we'll swap it over for a new one. Um, any questions? Pretty simple. Should we go give it a go? Alright, let's go. 